Okay, this question looks at run length encoding. Run length encoding is new to the 2016 onward specification AQA. It uh, wasn't there before. Um, and it's relatively straightforward. This question is four marks here. And when we look at it, there isn't actually that much to do. It's quite a nice question to get in your exam for four marks. What we've got here is a sound file, which is stored as a bit pattern. These are bit patterns here, OK? These are all the bit patterns there that store the sound file. Bit patterns are often compressed. Compress the following bit pattern using run length encoding. With run length encoding, what you're doing is you're counting the frequency of the ones and zeros and simply recording it. So what I do is I start here I'm going to start on the left hand side and count towards the right and I'm going to count the number of zeros that I've got um, first off 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 so write down 6, 0, comma ignore the space there I'm just recording the amount of zeros that I've got ignore the space there just, just count the zeros that you've got there so now, let's look at the ones. I've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 7 ones. Now I'm back to zeros. I've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 12 zeros. And number of ones, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 7, ones and that's my answer for four marks the second half of the question it says shade one lozenge which shows the true statement about run length encoding will it always make a file smaller is it the most effective on data that appears random or is it that it will not lose any of the original data now the first two aren't true. It, it won't always make a file smaller, um, and it might not be the most most effective method to do, but it definitely will not lose any of the original data, so the only true statement there is C. So just to recap, run length encoding is, rel is fairly straightforward, and for five marks there, I don't think that was a particularly hard thing to do. All I did was count the frequency of the ones and zeros and record it.